Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be assembling these pre-built Vigo garden beds. So stick around and I'll show you guys what I've got. So right here I have the Vigo Twin Pack. It's a round garden bed. They're 17 inches tall and 24 inches wide. So I'm going to be assembling this for you guys today. Now Vigo reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked if I would be interested in testing their product. And from what I could find out, it seemed like a really good product and I wanted to test. Now if you've seen my channel, you probably have seen several garden bed videos that I've already made. If you haven't seen those, go check them out. I'll leave the link at the end of this video. That might be a good option for you as well. Back to these Vigo garden beds. I wanted to see if there was an easier way to make garden beds as well as something that's comparable to the price of the materials right now. With the prices of materials so high, these Vigo garden beds aren't that much more. They're pretty comparable to what lumber prices would be. And you can find these at Lowe's, Amazon, Home Depot, Walmart. They've got a ton of different options. And these are a few that I thought would be really cool to try. Back to the ones that we have right here. These ones are a lot smaller than the ones I was showing you on the screen. Now these are actually perfect for my daughter. She loves to go outside and help us water and garden herself. So these would be perfect for her. She can plant her flowers in here or vegetables and take care of them. And I think she'll have a lot of fun with this. Now these are really simple to set up. It comes with everything you need to do that other than a screwdriver. It comes with a little wrench to hold the nut on the back side. You'll need a screwdriver or drill to tighten down the screw on the other side. That's a pretty easy or common thing to have. And a drill does speed up the process a lot. I'm gonna use an impact drill and it will go through this really quickly and tighten those down. I was genuinely impressed with the quality of this product. They did a great job also thinking through everything with the installation and the user in mind. Now a few examples of that is they put a clear film of plastic over top of full sides of this metal that you peel off before you assemble. I learned that the hard way, thought I could possibly peel it off later and it's a little bit harder. So peel that off first, but that kept the metal looking nice, didn't scrape off the metal while it's shipping and insulated all the pieces from each other. Now they also provided just enough nuts that are rounded over or capped nuts for the top two bolts all the way around. That way if you're digging through the soil with your hands barehanded, you're not gonna scratch yourself on the threaded nuts if any of them are sharp, which I thought that was pretty cool. Probably not necessary, but a great touch to keep people safe. Next, they have a plastic or rubber ring that goes across the top also to keep any from anybody from getting cut or scratched on the top of that metal. Just really cool thoughts that they had to make this product better and better for the user. Not just cheaper and make more money. Now I know this is a really small thing, but it came with a couple extra nuts, bolts, and washers just in case you lose any, which is great. Now the metal this is made out of is really rigid. It's definitely overkill for a smaller garden bed like this, but they also use all these same pieces. You can kind of build it like Legos. You can take pieces from other garden beds and add them together and make a larger one. So when you think about this being a lot larger, it's a good thing they make it this strong and rigid because you don't want, as you fill in the dirt, this to be bowing or falling over or warping over time. Each of these panels also has been sealed on both sides, the outside and in, with paint. This really preserves the metal for a much longer amount of time before it rusts out. Now, a bit of caution here, you will want to make sure that you don't scratch the paint off of this or else that's going to ruin the effect of the paint, it'll expose the metal and cause it to potentially rust out a lot quicker. With all that said, I definitely would recommend these products. If you have the money and want to buy pre-made garden beds, this is a great brand. I haven't tested any of the other similar brands like this one, but I definitely think that this is going to last a long time. They made it really well, and I think this is actually going to outlast the garden beds that I built myself out of metal roofing and wood framing. So this is a great product that I think will last for many, many years. Now I'm going to be placing these right next to my garden beds and I'm just going to need to move a little bit of this gravel out of the way. I have the plastic underneath this gravel so I'm going to expose that and actually cut a hole in that plastic so that water from this garden bed will have some place to go. It won't just build up in that gravel there. 
You also probably want to level the ground out as much as possible before placing this. I don't know if being on a hill will end up causing issues. It won't look right for sure, um, but if it's too steep, it might end up tipping over. But just want to make sure that that looks good before you start filling it up with soil because then it's a little more firm. A tip for filling up any raised garden beds, they take a ton of soil to fill up. So if you have anything that you can use as filler to fill this up, that's gonna just disintegrate and enrich the soil over time, like firewood that's rotten out or too buggy to use, or maybe some yard waste, you know, grass clippings, branches, leaves, you can fill that in at the bottom, give it a good five, six, to inches to a foot depending on how tall your garden beds are and then you can just top it with some nice garden soil and some compost or manure and mix that in as that wood and leaves and branches yard waste decomposes it will actually enrich and loosen the soil and add nutrients back into it so it's not hurting the plants at all as it disintegrates it's going to settle down a little bit and add nutrients back in and it's actually great for the plant so it's a great way to cut down on the amount of soil you're going to use as well as add nutrients back into it over time We're gonna plant a few herbs in these garden beds for now. We might end up changing that later, but we're kind of in the middle of our growing season now, so we're not planting anything at this point. We might change this up a little bit later and see what grows well in these garden beds. And it also gives us a, the opportunity to try things in smaller amounts because they're separate. We can try maybe different varieties of different plants that we haven't tried before just to see how they work before trying it at a larger scale. So these little garden beds will be fun and hopefully work really well for these herbs and some other things later on. That just about finishes up my video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below and let me know in the comment section what you guys use for your gardens. Do you use raised garden beds, no raised garden beds, just on the ground? What type of raised garden beds? What works for you guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to learn from you. And a big thank you to Vigo for sending these garden beds over. We had a lot of fun putting them together and I'm sure we're gonna enjoy these for years to come. If you're interested in getting some of these garden beds, I'll leave the link down in my description of this video. You can easily find them there or you can Google Vigo garden beds and they'll pop up all over the place. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.